Hello and welcome to my 2014 Beauty Favourites video. Starting off with foundation primers. Um, there's two that I really, really like. First one is the Bourjois Happy Light um, Primer. There's two of these. This is a luminous one. There's also a matte version. Um, but I really, really like this one. Um, and another one is the L'Oreal Paris Lumi Magic. It just gives you that luminous glow that, that you're looking for, really. Especially in the winter. Next are foundations. So the two that I really, really like, I use this one for the summer. Um, it's slightly darker, um, I'm, so I'm quite pale anyway, but this one's a slightly darker one um, for the summer, and it's really light wearing. This goes great with the other primer that I showed you. Um, and this one more for winter, the L'Oreal True Match Foundation. Slightly thicker um, coverage, um, covers all those imperfections, spots coming out in winter. So really, really good foundation for the drugstore. Next, moving on to concealer, we've got the Rimmel Wake Me Up Concealer. Uh, this one is a creamy um, texture. Um, I like to put this just under my eyes, um, not on spots or blemishes or anything. That's where this one comes in, the Soap and Glory Kick-Ass Concealer. Um, so it's got a powder on the top for setting and then you've got two concealers underneath. I mainly only use this one. Um, don't really get any kind of redness on my face, so I don't really use the green very much. But um, yeah, brilliant um, all rounder concealer. So for powder, I've got two again. My everyday favourite is the Rimmel Stay Matte, and um, this was recommended to me quite a long time ago, um, and I absolutely love it. It just stays on all day, seals my makeup into place, takes away any shine. It's amazing. Uh, my other one is the Gemma Kid Makeup School um, Mineral Perfecting Powder. Um, again, this one's really good. I think I'm dropping it. I've hit pan on this one. Um, but yeah, really good um, for just sealing your makeup. Also, I do use a kabuki brush in this um, and apply it all over my face, you know, for kind of a quick and easy, no makeup. Kind of look for that really. Next is bronzer and I really like the Bourjois, I think it's called the Delice de Poudre. It's a matte bronzer, I use it to contour, I've got it on today, I use it to contour kind of my face and because I'm so pale it just gives me a bit more of a colour. Next on to blusher, so I've got um, two cream blushes here. This one is the Gemma Kid um, Pomegranate, it's the cream cheek colour. Um, really like this, it's kind of a real flushed, fresh flushed look. Um, it's really pretty, just kind of on the apples of your cheeks, blended out, I used to just use this um, with my fingers. Another one that I like, more of a summer shade, is the Daniel Sandler Soft Peach. It's from the watercolour range um, in the cream version. Again, really nice peachy colour for summer. It's a great texture as well. Okay, moving on to highlighters. Again, another Gemma Kid product. And this is the Dewy Glow All Over Radiance Cream. So it's a cream texture, so it's really, really nice, really soft. Um, I tend to put it down the centre of my nose, kind of top to the cheeks, Cupid's bow. Lovely, lovely product. Another highlighter is the Avon Pearls. Now these are really, really nice. They're loads of little pearls, swirl your brush in it, um, and pop it on. It's really, really delicate and really pretty. Next, moving on to cream eyeshadows. Now, I don't go without a cream eyeshadow. I always wear a cream eyeshadow under any um, powder eyeshadow, just because it makes it stay longer on me. I like the intense colour that they give. My favourites are the Maybelline 24 Colour um, Tattoos. A cream um, eyeshadow, I put it on my finger, kind of blend it out. I've got one of these on today actually. The colours I've got here, my favourites are Permanent Taupe, uh, Metallic Pomegranate, which is like a deep kind of red winey colour, um, and On and On Bronze. This is one of my favourites actually, in fact, I think I might need to get another one, it's nearly run out. So um, yeah, just really easy to apply. I wear these daily, a great um, find for 2014. Makeup palettes. But there are two that have really stood out for me for 2014. The first one being from Sleek. It's the Vintage Romance set. And it looks like this. So I don't use all the colours on this. Uh, my favourites are this one here. I use this for um, eyeliner. In fact, I've got this on today. I use it as eyeliner. 
with an angled brush. Um, the black I use again for eyeliner. And then these are really nice to go with. In fact, those, this one here goes really nicely with the um, pomegranate um, 24 hour colour tattoo. So yeah, love this. It's a great palette. I've used it a lot in 2014. My other one is a real new find actually. It's by L'Oreal. It's the La Palette Nude. It's a new one that's just come out and I really, really like it. I think it's a great collection. It's got all the colours that you need. Um, it's got the highlighters in there. I just think it's a really nice palette. Peachy tones, soft tones, and then it's got the dark colours on the end as well. So I really, really like that. Eyeliners. Firstly on eyeliners, I've got Daniel Sandler. These are called Long Lasting Waterproof Eyeliner. They are so waterproof. I've got the black velvet and the brown velvet, and they are so nice. They blend beautifully, they're so soft. Um, so yeah, great. Um, with those, I enjoy using those every day. I tight line with them as well. The mascara is the uh, Maybelline the Falsies Volume Express. Love this. Um, this was recommended to me by a makeup artist friend a couple of years ago, and I've loved it ever since. But I always go back to, to this one, love it. Okay, moving on to lip balm. Okay, so I have two, both from the body shop actually. So the first one is the Vitamin E Lip Care SPF 15. Love this, always have one in my handbag, bedside table, um, in the car, I kind of have one everywhere really. So um, great one to put on. Kids use it as well, so it's perfect. And also, I really like this one, I love the smell of it. It's the Shea Lip Butter from The Body Shop. Love it, it's really, really nice. Um, really soft to put on. It was a good find in 2014 and I, I really enjoy using it. So lip sticks, don't really wear lip glosses. They stick to my hair, I don't like it, they're gloopy. If anybody can recommend a really good lip gloss that's not gloopy and not sticky, then let me know, because I'm, I'm all for trying new things. And um, my lipstick that I've been wearing a lot is actually this one I've got on now. It's by Clinique, it's a high impact SPF 15 called Extreme Pink. And it looks like this. Very wearable, um, great for kind of autumn, winter, tones, it's like a berry tone, um, but a great for an all round, for all year round as well, really like it. Um, and also this one, this is called Demure, sounds very classy, um, by Revlon Colourburst, it's their, I think it's called Lip Lacquer Bar, so really nice, it's like the wind up pen, um, and I love it, I think it's really nice, it's so easy, it's foolproof, you don't need a mirror to put it on, just kind of put it all over. It's a little bit shiny, and it's got a mint flavour as well, so it makes your lips tingle. Okay, moving on to nails. So, my well actually, they're both by Jessica, Jessica Nail, and I love them, I think they're awesome. So the first one is Prima Donna. It's, the only way I can describe this is Cadbury Purple. If you like Cadbury's chocolate, you're going to love it. Not that it tastes of chocolate or smells of chocolate, but it looks the same colour. It's beautiful. And the other one by Jessica is, what's it called? Opening Night. It's more of a pinky shade. In fact, I've got this on now, look. Really, really nice. Love it. Moving on to skincare. So firstly, I wash my face to take my make most of my makeup off. I use this. This is the Body Shop Chamomile Silky Cleansing Oil. And it's beautiful. It smells really nice. It's not too strong. Um, and it's just an oil. So a couple of pumps on my hand, rub my hands together, mainly focus on my eyes, so massage it into my eyes, around my face, and then get a flannel, a hot flannel, um, and take that off. So then if I've got any um, kind of tough eyeliner or mascara on that the cleansing oils haven't taken away, I then use the Nivea Double FX Makeup Remover. Um, this is the cheapest chips, I think it's, well, it's about £3 something, but it's always on offer for £1 something. Um, really, really nice. Love using it. Doesn't irritate my eye. I love it. I think it's awesome. Going from the Clinique one, which is really expensive, to this, no comparison. Amazing. Next, moving on to toners. Garnier Micellar Cleansing Water. Easy to get hold of. Um, says removes makeup and cleanses and soothes. No rinsing. Face, eyes, lips, and it's got no perfume on that. It hasn't got a scent to it at all. So really nice. I've only just started using this actually over the past couple of months. Um, but yeah, it's definitely a, a favourite of 2014. 
Um, another one that I use, which again is more of a luxury one that I use, is the Dermalogica. I love Dermalogica products. So I've got the Multi Active Toner. Love the smell of this. In fact, I love the smell of all the Dermalogica stuff. It's so relaxing. Moisturisers, staying on skincare. I've got a day one, which I use again, Dermalogica, um, which is the Active Moist one. So I really like that. Um, it's oil free, does the job, great for um, putting makeup on top of, lovely. And for night cream, this one, I started using this I think about October time, so kind of back end of um, 2014, which is the Garnier Skin Naturals. I was looking for a new night cream um, and didn't really know what to go for, so did a bit of research, found this one was a good one, thought why not, let's give it a go. And do you know what, actually I do really, really like it. Um, okay, on to hair care to keep my nice locks in good condition. The first one is the L'Oreal Hair Expertise Ever Reach Nourishing Intense Mask. Blimey, that's a mouthful, isn't it? Looks like this. Um, it's a little pot, you only need a tiny little bit. Wash your hair normally with your normal shampoo, and then this is your conditioner. So don't you don't put, use conditioner and then use this. This is your conditioner. So um, scoop a bit out. I tend to rub it through my le the lengths first, then kind of through the rest of my hair. Um, leave it, I think it's, it says five minutes, which is just a great excuse to stay in the bath and have um, a nice relaxed five minutes. Um, so yeah, love that. The other one, and I'm really low on this now, I'm really sad about that because I want to get, I should have to get some more, but it's really expensive, it's like £30 for this bottle. Um, it's the Weller Professionals Lux Oil, so it's not easy to get hold of, I think you probably get it on Amazon, um, or if there's a hair salon near you um, that does Weller products, they will have it. A couple of pumps in my hands, and again, you can use this on wet hair before blow drying, or on dry hair, but I used this this morning, just kind of through the lengths, I get really frizzy bits, so just kind of put them through. Um, and it's really, really nice. I get compliments when I wear this, actually. My hair looks really shiny and that it smells good. Okay, body care. And the first one is the Sanctuary Spa 4-Day Moisture Oil Scrub. And this is amazing. I got this between Christmas and New Year. Scoop some out. It's a scrub, so it's got bits in it. All over the body, you wash it off, dry yourself, just tap, pat yourself dry, and it's amazing. My skin felt awesome. It was just, oh, I can't even describe it. Go out and get one of these. Go out and get one and try it for yourself because it's awesome. And another one that I've used um, is the, again, Sanctuary Spa, and it's called Relax Cocooning Body Butter. Looks like this. Um, this, oh, I don't know what's in it, but it smells delicious. Um, so it's for putting on, it's an evening one, don't put it on in the morning, you might fall asleep. Um, so it says blended with essential oils to help relax and calm the mind, providing a gentle unwind to a stressful day. Right, so I think that is everything. We're done. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Give me a thumbs up and don't forget to, forget to subscribe. I'll put any details of the products in the description bar below. Um, and thanks for watching. Bye guys.